Hey there, I'm Dave, and here I'm going to show you how to make a JavaScript-based website. It's okay if you don't know anything, because I'm going to start from the very beginning. So let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is get Node. All you have to do is go to nodejs.org, and there you go. Just click on Install. You could just do this on Mac or Windows. It doesn't matter. So um, actually, this tutorial will be for both also. So once you have Node installed, what you'll be able to do is go to Search Terminal. This is on Mac. On Windows, you'll type CMD. But on Mac, it's Terminal. So once I run that, uh, all I have to do is type Node. And once you get the little carrot thing, that means Node is installed correctly. So now you can run commands like 1 plus 1. Enter. It goes back a 2. And that's Node. So Next, what you want to do is download the basic code for a website. I'm not really going to code it today, but I'm going to get you up and running, and then in future videos, I'll show you how to actually change that code and write your own JavaScript. But for now, we'll just download a bundle of JavaScript that's uh, already been written by the open source community, which lets you make a website right away. All you have to do is download it. So what we'll do is search for that. So you'll search for Angular express seed and the first result is the angular express seed github page and all you have to do is click download zip on the bottom right click that it downloads it to your downloads folder let's open up that zip file it should unzip it into its own folder I can now open that folder and let's see here we have an app.js file that's a JavaScript file it has JavaScript in it I'm not going to show you it now, but all you have to do is type node in your command line and then app.js and that will run your website. So let's do that right now. Terminal. Where am I right now? OS. So let's do cd downloads and then ls cd angular ls. Okay, so now we're in the folder, but before I can run node with this application, I just have to first quickly run npm install. Now what this does is it downloads all the dependencies for this application. So for example, like a manifest on a ship, you have a list of passengers. There's a manifest that comes with this application that says here's a couple of things that we need for this application to work. And those things I didn't initially download from the website because it's constantly changing. So when I actually am ready to run the application, I want to download the latest version of that. So that's what I just did. And now that I downloaded that, all I have to do is type node app.js. App.js, remember, is the file in the folder that we downloaded. So we just type node and then the, fo the that file name. Run that. See, now it says express server listening on port 3000. That means our website's running. And all we have to do is go to our website and hit our local host on port 3000. So I'll show you that right now. Type localhost host 3000. Enter. And that's our website. That's running locally right now. So here's in the terminal. As you can see, there's some stuff popping up here. That means the website's being downloaded. Um, but what we can do is we can edit this website now. Let's see if we can edit that. Hold on here. Let's go back to the finder. Let's go into routes. API.js, open with Sublime. Great text editor, by the way. I'm going to change Bob. I'm going to change it to Dave. Save that. Go back to the terminal. Control C to stop the web server. Then just type node app.js again. Run it. It's now running. Go back to your browser and refresh. And there we go. That's our first website in JavaScript. Any questions, leave it in the comments. In future videos, I'm going to actually show you how to code some stuff, some cool stuff for this website, front-end, back-end database. It's all covered here, so stay tuned. Thanks.